Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to FNAF News. In today's video, we got details on the upcoming FNAF 2 movie. Figures of FNAF 2's withered animatronics are finally here and they look incredible, as well as what you can expect to see in Daco's charity stream happening this weekend. That and so much more we're going to be talking about in today's video. So if you're excited, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button. I know a lot of you guys are not subscribed when you watch these FNAF News videos, but I'm telling you, subscribing to this channel is the best way to guarantee you stay up to date with everything regarding FNAF. So first up, let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, and that is of course Hot Topic. As per usual, they've been pumping out a whole bunch of brand new FNAF merchandise, including this brand new FNAF movie t-shirt, featuring the stained glass characters that we can see in the film's dining area. They've also released this slightly terrifying, but also you know, kind of heat-looking Springtrap Tassel Beanie. Moving on now, let's talk about Daco, because if you missed it, on March the 2nd, he's hosting yet another charity stream, this time for the PCRF, or the Palestine Children's Relief Fund. And just like all of Daco's past charity streams, there's a bunch of FNAF donation incentives, with Hex tweeting out, stay tuned for Daco's charity stream tomorrow for some future reveals for 2024, including a clown emoji, a bear emoji, a fox emoji, and a dancing lady emoji. Which I hope I don't need to hold your hand for this one, because they they are of course talking about the Funtime animatronics Baby, Freddy, Foxy, and Ballora. From Sister Location, Daco said in the past that they're on the lineup for Hex plushies. So it looks like not only are these plushies releasing in the year 2024, our first look at the plushies is also going to be happening on that charity stream. And in fact, the other donation incentives for the stream got revealed earlier today. We'll be getting three reveals of the Funtime Hex plushies as well as four Pop Goes reveals, as well as the final 25k goal being a new demo for the Five Nights at Freddy's fan game FNAF Real Time. The stream starts at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Daco's gonna be replaying Ruin and Help Wanted 2. There's also a FNAF quiz section where myself, as well as John FNAF and Astro Spiff are gonna be competing. And those two are really smart, so I don't think I have a chance, but I'd love to have your support on the charity stream. Make sure to tune in. But speaking of Daco and Hex, we've got some interesting news about Warren James, the company that actually makes the Hex plushies. Because if you've ordered a Hex plushie recently, there's a massive chance you've been experiencing some incredibly large delays. With Hex putting out a statement saying, I just wanted to apologize for the shipping delays recently. I'm just as disappointed as you are and it's unfortunately out of my control. I have decided to delay any upcoming releases for plushies until everyone receives their pre-orders. I'm really sorry. With Docker replying saying, I also assure you that the company making these plushies are on their last chance. Very disappointed. Now, I just want to say I have no insight on Warren James or how these plushies get manufactured, but even myself, I've gotten a fair share of emails on my business email from customers wondering what is up with their plushie. So I can only imagine just how many complaints and emails Warren James and Daco are getting. So as much as this situation sucks, massive shout out to Daco for recognizing the situation, delaying any future releases until everyone gets their plushies. So while it looks like all future Hex releases are currently delayed, that doesn't mean they're stopping production completely. In fact, Daco revealed on Twitter not too long ago that a Shadow Freddy hoodie is currently in development, with a first look at the design being revealed in the brand new profile picture for Hex's Twitter page. Not too long ago, we saw the release of the Shadow Bonnie hoodie, which actually glue in the dark, which was amazing. I'm curious if this brand new Shadow Freddy hoodie will also glow in the dark, but so far from what we've seen, I'm loving the design. Moving on now to YouTube's, I hope your wallet is full because they are releasing a lot of products this month. They just revealed a brand new set of Security Breach pins, a Glamrock Chica connected pin with her grabbing some pizza, a Glamrock Chica dangle pin, as well as a Roxy dangle pin, a Glamrock Freddy Turner pin featuring his battery asset from Security Breach, a Gregory and Cassie connected pin with them calling each other on their Freddy and Roxy talkies, a Monty pin with magnetic sunglasses that can be removed, as well as a present pin that flips open to reveal the Faz watch inside. So those all release on the 5th of March and only a few days from now, but that's not the only U2's products releasing on the 5th of March, because a few days ago U2's finally teased their upcoming FNAF 2 wave. This is probably probably been one of the most anticipated waves from U2s because as you can see from the silhouettes, they feature the withered animatronics. And a few days later, they finally revealed the full wave featuring withered Chica, the puppet, withered Freddy, withered Bonnie, Mangle, and withered Foxy. And as you could assume, these guys also all release on the 5th of March, so we got the entire FNAF 2 wave as well as the entire pin wave of Security Breach all releasing on that day. If you are a FNAF collector, 
your wallet's gonna be crying after that day. Taking a closer look at the figures, first up, we've got Withered Freddy. On the back of the box, you can see it is recreating one of his camera shots in FNAF 2, as well as reciting a quote from one of the FNAF 2 teasers, no place to run, and exactly one place to hide. The back of Withered Bonnie's box has him crawling through the vents, with one of his quotes from Yucien, time to face the consequences of your failures. The FNAF 2 office is featured on the back of Withered Chica's box, with once again another quote from the character from UCN. Withered Foxy, once again recreating that FNAF 2 teaser we saw Withered Freddy's box recreate, with Foxy's box having a quote from him from FNAF AR. The back of the puppet's box doesn't seem to be recreating any cameras or teasers, though it has a very creepy image of them crawling out of the box with, once again, another UCN quote. And lastly, the Mangles box has them inside of Kid's Cove with a quote from Phone Guy, but something you may notice about Mangle is that their colors are completely off. A large majority of their endoskeleton is a pale white color. Thankfully, you two saw the complaints from fans online and they did end up changing the color of Mangle's endo. And now, I mean, they just look perfect. This is, again, probably one of the best waves we've ever gotten from you twos. All these figures look insane. They also showed off some Security Breach Ruined themed wrapping paper. And Austin from you twos revealed that these wrapping papers, as well as those Christmas and Valentine's cards we saw in the past, he said those will be releasing later this year. And lastly for you twos, we got a minor update on their upcoming FNAF movie wave, with Austin from you twos once again confirming that the movie wave will not have a limited availability timer. You might have noticed in the past with waves like the Help Wanted wave of figures, or even the upcoming FNAF 2 wave, that those figures are only available for a limited time, usually two weeks. Now rightfully, in my opinion, that makes a lot of people upset, so with this upcoming FNAF movie wave, it's amazing to know that it will not be limited timed. And speaking of the FNAF movie, let's move on to the next topic, which is well, the FNAF movie. The movie's soundtrack is available for pre-order right now on CD, cassette, and vinyl, with the vinyl sleeves having glow-in-the-dark bits for the animatronic eyes, and that looks insane. Like I said, you can pre-order them right now on the I Am 8-Bit store. They're gonna be shipping out later this year in quarter three. And lastly, let's talk about some brand new details we got on the upcoming FNAF 2 movie. Because we got FNAF movie insider and leaker Daniel RPK, who I personally do trust. A lot of other FNAF movie people I watch also trust Daniel. Just like any leaker and insider, or they've had their misses, but they did also have a lot of confirmed stuff for the first FNAF movie, so that's why I'm talking about them here, because they revealed that Blumhouse's upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's 2 will reportedly have a larger focus on horror after feedback from the first film. I think we can all agree, as much as us FNAF fans absolutely adore that film, it's kind of hard to call it a horror film, you know? More so thriller, suspense, but horror was definitely lacking in the first installment. We have heard reports from Scott Cawthon himself that he's listening to feedback from the first movie, going as far as to even rewrite portions of the script for FNAF 2. And I know a lot of people who, one of their major complaints for the first film, just that it wasn't scary. Now, this doesn't completely mean that they're gonna go rated R. I don't think they're gonna flip that switch. I'd assume it's still gonna be PG-13, but a larger emphasis on horror with these new animatronics, I mean, especially the Withereds, especially Mangle, if they make those characters. Like, that just sounds like a knock out of the park, if you ask me. Previously, we've heard reports that the filming date for this movie is gonna be July 1st. Using info from the first FNAF movie, that started filming in February, lasting about two months, ending on the 3rd of April, and then releasing later in the year at the end of October, so I'd assume if they follow the same kind of schedule with the second film. I definitely don't think it's gonna be coming out this year. I'd assume early or maybe even mid-2025. However, I do think it's quite likely we'll get some teasers, maybe even a trailer later this year. Halloween seems like a perfect time to get a trailer or a teaser, even FNAF 2's anniversary is in November. So I'd say around there is when we should expect to see marketing ramp up for the film, but again, I don't think it's coming out this year. Early to mid-2025 is gonna be my personal guess. Well, that's gonna to do it for all the FNAF news for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.